research topic. Uh, again, uh, I work for Sukho Thai Thamadira for School of Agriculture. My name is Anusha Vityagod Puri Pampinjo. And my second research topic gonna be the, do dairy cooperatives perform their own business with the technical efficiency? So the evidence from dairy cooperative in Nakhola Chasima province area uh, of Thailand. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, my research topic, uh, why I conduct again, uh, because uh, like I mentioned for my first uh, title that I get used to the agricultural career. So my second paper focus on dairy uh, product. So uh, one of the thing that uh, people in Thailand concerned about the milk uh, or the ready to drink milk actually is a, a process or generate from the raw cow milk, which is produced by farmer. So many people know that before or some someone gonna concern about it already, uh, the ready uh, drink, uh, milk drink, but they have never ever concerned about the raw uh, cow milk. So that's why I try to make my focus on uh, the dairy farm in my research. So uh, again, uh, from past two peasant, uh, agricultural still have the basic and the crucial sector of Thai economy. Uh, for example, in the past, we produce so many rice and other crops. And again, uh, uh, what happened to the dairy farm in Thailand? The dairy farm in Thailand is one of the uh, important sectors that uh, uh, farmers in Thailand do it or uh, perform for a long time as a cow meal long-term production processing from farm uh, for the dairy product eventually. So out as ready to min do, drink milk, as, as I mentioned before, and more than 65% of the dairy farming owners have single carrier, meaning that they don't have anything more than uh, uh, dairy product. So they have only one. So they do not have other second job or second career for their living. So uh, again, uh, the dairy farm is labor intensive because uh, more than 12 hours of farmers, uh, they just pay for their dairy farm activities, 12 hours, which is half of the day. So from the morning until uh, the evening, something like that, because this is very, very heavy career. Somebody know that before somebody didn't know because farmers spend their works in their uh, dairy farm to produce raw cow milk. And they did not know they produce uh, or they operate their own business with efficiency or not. Uh, because majority of farmers didn't care for efficiency that they perform, but they care for money or income that they're gonna earn or they're gonna get into their pockets. Uh, the thing is, uh, income from agriculture or especially from dairy farming Sometimes it's going up, sometimes it's going down because of the price of the raw cow milk. Or uh, easy speaking, it's wax and vain. Something like that, going up, going down, it's not uh, the stable income for a farmer who uh, operate their own uh, business for the dairy cow. Milk of farming, over 20 years, Nakhon Jasima is one of the important of dairy production in Thailand and is the second length of dairy production area in Thailand. So the first one is Salabuli. All right, so Nakhon Rajasima is suitable area for the dairy farming in terms of climate, geography, and also uh, they have so many farmers who have uh, uh, their own interests to uh, uh, pay attention for uh, this career as uh, their main uh, income, something like that. Uh, 
more than 25 years, the dairy production of farmers in Thailand is not uh, considerate because uh, in the past, uh, the ready to drink milk or cow milk in Thailand is not very popular. Uh, but now uh, people try to encourage themselves or uh, try to have so many promotion projects to uh, increase the milk consumption for Thai people, something like that. Uh, this research paper try to uh, attempt to answer that I mentioned before, do dairy cooperatives perform their own business with the technical efficiency or not? Or simple speaking is, do farmers know themselves that they do their own business with efficiency or not? Or they just do or perform the dairy business or their, a, a dairy business without the answer for efficiency or not? All right, so that's why as a um, scorer in the area of agriculture, I pay attention and then I shared my attention at not uh, quite that I mentioned before in terms of the area and in terms of the geography. All right, so my research objective is try to set up uh, the analysis of technical efficiency of dairy cooperatives in uh, North Korea, Sima province area, which is in the northeast of Thailand, all right? So the material is, the, my population is, uh, the population is, consists of 12 dairy cooperatives in Nontaburi uh, from uh, the year of 2008 to 2020. So again, the secondary data were collected from the database of cooperative auditing department, Ministry of of uh, agriculture and cooperative. So the symbol, uh, uh, the sample cooperative were collected, selected by applying the purposive sampling technique with the two conditions. So first of all, uh, the sample of cooperative have no negative or zero performance. Uh, and the second one gonna be the data obtained must be relevant and continuous. So the continuous time series data and uh, the continue of uh, cross-sectional come up with 10 cooperatives by the purposive sampling technique that I mentioned before. So it come up like this. So uh, my samples for my study gonna be Konbuli Dairy Cooperative, Thai Danish Dairy, uh, in Sungnen Cooperative, Thai Danish Dairy Cooperative, Thai Danish Dairy Park Chong Cooperative, Park Chong Dairy Cooperative, uh, Khan Thale, Khan Thale, Pimai, Chung Puong, Sung Sang, and Sukra Cooperative, all right? So all of them compose of 10 cooperatives and have 1,280 members of dairy cooperatives. All right, so the data analysis, once again, this is uh, different from my first uh, research paper. So I try to collect uh, by 10 uh, dairy cooperatives over 30, 13 years. So my ob observation is going to be uh, 130, which is came from 13 multiplied by 10. And then I try to make my analysis with the panel data econometric model with the fixed effect panel data. And I try to uh, investigate what's going on for my ec econometrics model, all right? so. The econometrics model come up like this, like this for my uh, uh, equation. Uh, so yt equal to uh, beta uh, plus beta one, beta zero plus beta one plus uh, the independent variable. Uh, so the dependent variable gonna be dairy 
cooperative uh, income and all kind of uh, my independent value, which is XI1 to XIN and the time of two years. So it's uh, come up with my independent variable, which uh, uh, the liability, the cost of dairy and the credit, the dairy cooperative loan, uh, and also the cost of dairy uh, and others credit loan, for example, in my uh, econometrics model. And it come up with the technical efficiency defined as the grammar of IT divided by the grammar of IT star uh, at the time 10, all right? So it's similar to the first paper, but it's different technical uh, efficiency measurement because uh, for this second research paper, I try to apply econometrics model as uh, I mentioned before. So uh, the first model I apply DEA and the second one I try to use econometrics, all right? So the results or the outcome uh, come up with uh, the analysis of technical efficiency obtained dairy cooperative from uh, the year of 2008 to 2020 in Nokola, Jishima, uh, province area could be explained as uh, the following uh, result. So first of all, the average te technical efficiency score of dairy cooperative in Nakhola Jasima province was equal to 0.980, it's less than one. Again, this means that 10 cooperative perform their own business. It's very high performance, but they are, they, they were to out of uh, 10 cooperatives who perform their own business with very high uh, technical efficiency, uh, which is uh, uh, equal to uh, 1.0, but the other obtain uh, the technical efficiency less than one. So the range of the efficiency score uh, range from 0.99 to 0.95, which is still be the very high performance also. Uh, more. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, you have uh, three more minutes to present. Okay, all right. So uh, they were out of 10 have uh, the efficiency called, uh, the efficient technical efficiency. Uh, only two uh, cooperative have uh, 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 very small, uh, not, not very, uh, have uh, a little bit small score of uh, technical efficiency. So they have to concern about uh, concern themselves to improve their uh, efficiency scale because due to the recent result, it expects that uh, my topic uh, gonna express the long trend to the dairy cooperative performance would be tend to be one of the good agricultural career in Nakhola Jasima. So meaning that uh, people uh, who are farmers in Nakhola Jasima still uh, have their own interest in their business. So they have to improve themselves in order to meet the, the uh, technical efficiency. So to answer my question for my topic, all right? So to, to answer the, the question that, all right? So uh, for uh, the question is, do the, the farmers uh, run their own business with technical efficiency or not? The answer is yes, but some of them, they have to improve themselves by increasing their performance. For example, they have to increase their, their operation uh, by applying uh, cooperative uh, uh, philosophy and the procedure of cooperative would be uh, the good chance to uh, try to make them to improve themselves, uh, following the concept of self-responsibility and help themselves uh, and the principle of uh, equality equity and solidarity of a uh, uh, cooperative will be the main point for them to get together, to join together and to run their own business with uh, their uh, uh, technical efficiency. Thank you so much for your attention. Thanks. Thank you. Thank That's you all. So much, all right, for yeah. your yeah. very 
uh, detailed and very informative presentation uh, regarding the dairy product in Nkhon Ratchasima. So I think, I mean, if we are Thai, right? So we all know that in this province, and it's a kind of hub or the center of dairy products here. Um, so the floor before we end the parallel session today, um, do you have any question uh, to ask um, the presenter here? Any question? Cousin Gary, do you have any question? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so um, so if we don't have any question because uh, we are running out. Ajahn, I have. Yeah, yeah, Ben Mato, okay, please. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, firstly, I'd like to thank the presenter for coming up uh, with your uh, dairy product uh, uh, research. Uh, and uh, I feel as, as a school teacher, some of us might think that it's not relevant to our profession, but uh, I, as a school manager, you know, this is so relevant. Why I'm saying it's relevant? Because as a teacher, I think we can, we have uh, parents who work as a farmer in the field. So this is how, you know, we are talking about the sustainability. So especially the, this, uh, during this pandemic year, I think uh, our country is also focusing on the sustainability of the people. So this is one of the methods, you know, I, I've, uh, I find this is very relevant. Uh, and I want to ask you one question, uh, you know, what would be the best uh, cooperative member? Because uh, back to my country, you know, they try to do it, but somehow they fail. So uh, my question out here is this, uh, sustainability, because uh, you know, farmer at, at one go, they listen to the higher authority and they come up with the cooperative and they fail. So my question out is, uh, here is the sustainability of the dairy product in your place and what would you recommend for our country, for example, especially my country? So what do you recommend uh, to have a sustainability? How was your country, sir? Bhutan. Bhutan, okay, Bhutan. all right. So uh, the thing is cooperative is a philosophy, first of all, and people who join together for cooperatives have to be very, very concerned about the philosophy, first of all, and again, this is beyond my uh, research outcome. Uh, let me talk uh, or speak out from my uh, 35 years research experience. Mm -hmm. uh, when I get to the area uh, of uh, uh, the, the country area surrounding Thailand, all over Thailand, and then I try to ask people who want to be the member of cooperatives. Uh, open my question, I ask them for the first question. What do you think you want to join the cooperatives? What do you want? What your expectation? Uh, over 99%, oh, oh, I'm sorry, over 95% give me the answer with very, very wonderful answer. They want to get money, they want to get benefit from cooperatives. And as a um, scholar, and I said, why you didn't change your mind, your idea that? Uh, if you change your idea that, the point that you want to join together uh, to cooperate, themselves, yourself as cooperative. Why you didn't change your mind to, uh, uh, to the own idea for you get, you want to get the benefit from cooperative. Why you didn't say that you want to share everything for cooperatives. What you gonna uh, share uh, uh, everything for cooperatives. So uh, Personally, I think the education from people is the most important of all to understand the philosophy of cooperatives, to join with them, to uh, share the time, to share the experience, because cooperative, if uh, people still have selfish or try to focus on what they're gonna have, what they're gonna get, what they're gonna uh, take from the cooperatives. So, in the future, cooperative cannot do that, all right? So my own experience also, I spent two years in Israel, Hebrew University, and then I have the chance to spend my life in Kibbutz and Mochav in Israel. So when I talk to people in Israel, uh, Israeli 
always say that I want to join together to be cooperatives because I think people whenever we join together, it's gonna get stronger. I don't know how it's gonna get, but I know I want to join themselves. So that's why whenever I have the chance to go out from Bangkok or Nontabuli, I try to educate people. First of all, you have to change your mind. All right. So, so far in Thailand, cooperative, for example, like dairy cooperative, people join together again and again, and we try to educate them for what they're going to do, what they're going to have, and they understand more and more. And the better understanding is going to be the way for people to understand each other, to understand cooperatives, and to understand what they're going to do in the future. So this is the most important of all for people in Thailand. I don't know in Bhutan, Bhutan, uh, maybe uh, the area or the, the, the country is smaller than Thailand. So it's going to be easier to, to educate people how important of cooperatives and they're going to join together. And also, if I know, if my knowledge is correct, correct uh, in Bhutan, agricultural, especially dairy uh, farming still be the important uh, because uh, people want to drink milk, of course, is the main protein source of people. Is that right? So cooperative is going to be one of the things that to encourage uh, people over there to, 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 to join together and, and build themselves together as cooperative, something like that. Not only agriculture for, 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 for Thailand, but also for all over the world because cooperative philosophy uh, launched startup for almost 200 years. But in some country, they succeed. In some country, they fail, as you mentioned before. In Thailand, something bad, something new, something bad, something good, something new, something old. So we try to get better and better. Hopefully, this is my hope. We learn from today, uh, we learn from yesterday, and then we try to get the better for our future in Thailand. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. So 